All right, so I did a video a few weeks ago uh, with a demo, and then I just uh, showcased some Adobe Vision issues I was having. So I'm gonna do the same here, uh, except I'll get into a little more detail. I didn't think I would get as many questions as I did. So I'm getting a ton of questions around what I've tried, what I haven't tried, you know, what actually does work, what it looks like, et cetera. So I'll, I'll click around here, I'll do a quick demo, and then we'll talk about uh, some Adobe Vision issues. I might have to mute it here and there because last time I got uh, some YouTube flags, but so we're using an NVIDIA Shield. This is the newest, you know, the 2020 Pro, the newest one. I do not have Adobe Vision enabled, but let's go ahead and enable it. Um, and just so you know, we'll let this come back up. I, my setup is the NVIDIA Shield and everything else is going directly into the Hue Sync box. And the Hue Sync box is going into my receiver and the receiver comes to this TV. Every single component in this setup is Dolby Vision capable. So I get questions about my cables and I get questions around uh, everything else. This is a 2018 Vizio M class, which is Dolby Vision capable. Um, the NVIDIA Shield, obviously Dolby Vision capable. And then the uh, receiver is a Pioneer Elite Dolby Vision capable. And what you'll see when I show something in Dolby Vision, Could you'll see um, the signal works, but the lights don't. So I'm just gonna, cartoons are probably the best here, but so let's go back, actually. We'll do the regular sync demo. And then we'll do the Adobe Vision because that creates all sorts of issues. So right now um, the box is Adobe Vision enabled, but there's no, you know, it's not showing anything in Adobe Vision. You can see all the weird things I search for here. Okay, my AC kicked on, so you just hear some, that's what that noise is. So let's pull up some regular syncing. And then, um, this video got flagged for me last time. We'll pull, all right, we'll watch this video. We'll do some regular syncing, and then we will uh, go ahead and, and I'll show you Adobe Vision. So you see it's syncing really well. This is, you know, uh, HD, might even be 4K, I'll have to look, but it's syncing really well. I have, my setup is a Dolby Light Strip up top, a play bar on the left, a play bar on the right. Um, you see there's a play bar on the left and the right on that, that hovering cabinet. That's from Ikea, a lot of people ask me about that. That's a Besta. And then I have another light strip underneath the cabinet aiming down. So this syncs really well. It looks fantastic. There's a bunch of different zones, um, you know, and it, and it works well. I don't have any issues. This is on extreme, so it's gonna sync very quickly, right? It's the, the color changes are aggressive. So we'll let this go another, you know, 30 seconds or so, and then we'll show what Dolby Vision looks like. Okay. So now let's pop into something that's Dolby Vision. I lowered the volume because it's just so loud. Uh, we'll pop into something that's Dolby Vision and see what that looks like. So again, we have Dolby Vision enabled. The way this box works is if something's enabled, like when you enable Dolby Vision, it's only gonna push Dolby Vision when that is the quality. Meaning right now this menu is not Dolby Vision, right? It's just regular HD. If you have an Apple TV, everything will be Dolby Vision. The menu, the previews, everything, because the Apple TV will sort of upscale, I guess, whatever it's doing. So this is not the case. That's why I like to use the NVIDIA Shield. It's more accurate, if you will. So we'll just do Project Power. So you see Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. And we'll let it play. And if you look right there, then we'll fast forward. Just go to another random scene. Here's a just normal bright. I actually just disable Dolby Vision entirely because um, you know, the this, this lights aren't going to sync with it, so forget it. So that's my video. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to start uploading more and more um, tech videos of my setup, the rest of my media room here. Um, the wiring closet that I actually have all this stuff in is uh, pretty cool with some old uh, video game consoles and stuff. So 
you know, like, subscribe, questions, comments, and, and tips. I've tried pretty much every single thing you can imagine. But if for some reason I forgot something, I'd love a tip. And, uh, you know, maybe I can get this going. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, thanks for the watch.